Hey there, I wanted to show some reports that we commonly use to manage our onboarding process right within HubSpot. So I have a sample dashboard here. This is a combination of five or six different reports that's making up this data. And in the dashboard view, I can combine everything and give the rest of my team as well as myself access to see all that information in one place. So one of the main ones I have is this onboarding pipeline report that gives me an overview of everything currently going through onboarding with the companies themselves. I can access the deals quickly where we're managing that onboarding. I can also see who's responsible for that onboarding, the deal owner inside of HubSpot, the coordinator on the plan side of things. And then I have some data connections coming into HubSpot from my arrows plans themselves that let me see information that's specific to the plan. So things like how many days from the start date, what is the actual target date for that plan completion, how many days are left till that target date, and I can come in here and quickly filter things and sort things by all of these different columns. I can also see what step they're on, so which task they're supposed to be accomplishing, and how much time they've spent on that task in the number of days. So this can kind of help me gauge who I need to reach out to, who I need to prioritize, and figure out what the best way to get them to continue making progress is. Um, this is all blank, but I also have a property coming in for number of overdue tasks on any given plan, which if you have a ton of overdue tasks, these times on a specific task is too long. In this example, this 20 days is probably a concern because it shouldn't take 20 days to send me your existing documents or email them to me. So this is a good way to see a high level overview of everything happening. Then if I scroll down a little bit, the beauty of pairing HubSpot data with Arrow's plan data is that you get both sets of information in one place. So I can also see things like how much revenue is each person responsible for onboarding on our team. I can also prioritize, does that make sense for one individual to be responsible for so much revenue, same as deal count and specific deal size. Um, but what I can see between these two reports is who on the team between myself, Stuart, and Kim is responsible for onboarding, how much revenue is in their specific pipeline, and how many current onboarding deals they're working on. So if I'm, as the head of CS, wanting to come in and assign customers out, I can see that Kim has only two deals that are active. I can probably give her a few more, and Stuart's currently working on seven, maybe ease off of his assignment or workload for the time being. I also have another report showing me tasks that are ready for me to accomplish. Now these are HubSpot internal tasks. And what I have is some automations and workflows when customers are ready for onboarding. So once they go through the sales pipeline and hit closed one, we have another pipeline for onboarding where they then go and get housed into a ready for onboarding stage. And I have a workflow that creates internal tasks for me, letting me know that specific customers are ready for onboarding. I've also set this specific report to look at my tasks Whereas if Stuart opened this dashboard, he would see his tasks and Kim would see her tasks. But this is a great way for me to know specifically these customers are ready for onboarding. You can set these types of tasks for all sorts of different stages. For example, if they finish a specific phase, if they're stuck on a specific task for too long. So in this example, you can set up workflows and reports that say when a customer is on a specific task for longer than X days, create a follow-up task for me if I want to go in and manually follow up or even create some sort of sequence or workflow that sends an automatic email right out of HubSpot. But this is a quick way to access those tasks. And then if I go down a little bit further, I wanted to get into some stage details inside of my pipeline. Here I can see which customers are in that ready for onboarding stage. Two of them are assigned to me up here. That means these other 10 are assigned between Kim and Stuart. So it's a good opportunity to also unpack that as well as these other deals in these other stages. So each of these deals represents a customer going through onboarding. If I were to open these, I can again see which ones they are. I can see what stage they're on, which pipeline they're in, how much money they're worth. This is all customizable to your liking. So from this one dashboard, I can quickly access things as well as get a high level overview of where customers are in the process. And then lastly, what I'm really concerned about is how long it's taking customers to move through these different stages. This is a demo HubSpot account, so some of this stuff gets wiped out accordingly. But in theory, you'll be able to see here how many days or hours or whatever the settings you are using each um, set of customers is spending in specific stages in your timeline. And then you can optimize and scale the process accordingly. So in this example, on average, again, keep in mind, this is a demo account. 
but you certainly shouldn't have customers sitting in a ready for onboarding stage for an average of 12 days. So this would be a big red flag for me to dig into and understand why are we not moving them into getting started? Why have they not scheduled their kickoff calls and so on? And over time, you can see some patterns here. By the time they get to this training stage, they're only spending a day or so sitting in this stage. So it is my priority to make sure I can reduce these times so I can get them here. This tells me there's some sort of value here because people are moving through it quickly on their way to moving through. So between these six reports I have here, I can get a really good holistic overview of what is going on overall in my onboarding program and then be able to jump in and dissect these pieces as needed. And the beauty of dashboards is you can filter them, you can customize them, you can make these individual dashboards for individual people on your team, you can have one for your leadership team to view, and now everyone who has access to your HubSpot account can quickly come see where these customers are in the process and dig into the details if they need all from one place. Thanks.